Hello guys, welcome to the second part of the discussion on hydrostatic pressure. So if you missed the first part of this video wherein I discuss some of the important concept of hydrostatic pressure, I posted the link of the part 1 in the description below. Please click the link and watch the video. In this part of the discussion on hydrostatic pressure, we will try to solve more examples and more problems. I have this um, second example. What is the pressure 12.5 meters below the ocean? The specific gravity of seawater is 1.03. So if this is ocean, okay, if this is the um, seawater surface, so we compute um, the pressure 12 meters or 12.5 meters below. So basically, let's say this is our point A. So again, our pressure is basically equal to the unit weight of the liquid, but in this case, we have a seawater, times the height or the distance of our point from the water surface. Okay, so we have a pressure is equal to, now this since this is a seawater, so we have the unit weight of seawater which is which is 1.03 times the unit weight of water we have 9.81 okay so you multiply this one and we have here 1.03 times 9.81 this is in kilonewton per cubic meters times the distance of point A from the seawater surface, we have 12.5. This would give us pressure which is equal to 126.304 kilopascal. So the pressure 12.5 meters below the ocean is 126.304 kilopascal. Now, as what you can observe, or as what you can see, the deep the surface or the deeper the point the larger the pressure now that's the reason why no one can reach the bottom surface of the Marianas Trench because that is 1000 times larger than the atmospheric pressure and that would be enough to explode your brain okay since our age here is increasing as well as the pressure so that is the answer for our example number two. So we have here example number three, a pressure gauge six meters above the bottom of the tank containing a liquid reads 90 kilopascal and another gauge reads 103 kilopascal four meters above the bottom of the tank. Determine the specific weight of the liquid. So basically we will be computing for the unit weight of the liquid. So we have a tank. And this tank contains liquid with a known unit weight, a known specific gravity. So we do not know what type of liquid inside that tank. And according to the problem, 4 meters above the tank has a gauge reading of 103 kilopascal. So at this point, okay, we have um, 4 meters from the bottom, the gauge reading there that is equivalent to 103 kilopascal and then we have also six meters above the tank above the bottom of the tank the pressure reading there is equivalent to 90 kilopascal so we compute for the unit weight by just using the pressure difference we have pressure 2 minus pressure at point 1 is equivalent to the unit weight of the liquid times the height difference or that is the distance between the two points okay so we have the pressure at point 2 pressure at point 2 is 103 kilopascal minus the pressure at point 1 which is 90 kilopascal is equivalent to the unit weight of the liquid times the height between the two points and the height or the difference bit the height difference is 6 minus 4 we have 2 meters 
Okay? So, we have times 2. And then, we have here the unit weight. Now, take note, this is in kilopascal. And this one is in terms of meter. So, by cancellation of units, then that would give us a unit of kilonewton per cubic meters. And then, we have the answer. 6.5 kilonewton per cubic meters. So, this is the unit weight of the liquid or we say the specific weight. And we do not know what type of liquid this is. So, we are not familiar with a, a liquid has a unit weight of 6.5 kilonewton per cubic meter. Now, we have here a fourth example. An open tank contains 5.8 meters of water which is covered with 3.2 meters of kerosene. The unit weight is 8 kilonewton per cubic meter and that is for the kerosene. Find the pressure at the interface and at the bottom of the tank. Okay, so we have two questions in this problem. But the first thing we need to do here is of course to draw so that we can imagine the behavior or imagine the the problem. So we have this tank. So we have um, 5.8 meters height of our water and we have the kerosene lies on the top surface of our water. So this covers our water since we know that kerosene is um, lighter than water and that would eventually or that would basically float okay when placed into water so we have 3.2 meters as the height of the kerosene okay and the unit weight of this kerosene here is 8 kilonewton per cubic meter so the first question here is the pressure at the interface the interface is the point where our water and kerosene meet so at this point here that is the interface so basically, to compute the pressure at that point is just, um, let's say that is our pressure 1. So pressure 1 is just the unit weight of the liquid above that point. Okay, and in that case, the liquid above point 1 is kerosene. Okay, let's say that kerosene times the height of that um, kerosene from the top or from the surface so in this case we have this height here is 3.2 meters okay so we have um, p1 is equal to the unit weight of the kerosene we have 8 kilonewton per cubic meters times the height of um, the kerosene or the distance of 0.1 from the surface of our kerosene which is 3.2 meters and this would give us, for question letter A, that is the pressure at the interface, 25.6, this one is in kilopascal. Okay, for our question letter B, at the bottom of the tank. So basically, we will be computing the pressure at the bottom of the tank. So at this point, let's say that is our point 2. So we compute for pressure 2. So our point 2 here carries the weight of the kerosene and the weight of the water, correct? So therefore, point 2 here is basically the summation of the pressure due to the load above on it. Okay, but in this case, we have the pressure due to the load or due to the pressure exerted by water and the pressure exerted by the kerosene so we have a pressure 2 is equal to pressure 1 okay pressure 1 this is the pressure exerted by the kerosene correct plus the pressure due to the water we have the unit weight of water times the height this is from the formula if you remember we have pressure 2 minus pressure 1 is equal to the unit weight of the liquid times the difference in height okay so in that case we have a pressure 2 is equivalent to now the pressure at 1 which is 25.6 kilopascal and that is the unit weight of kerosene times the height 
if you remember plus the pressure due to water we have um, 9.81 kilonewton times the height difference we have the distance from the water surface to the bottom of the tank we have 5.8 meters correct so we multiply it by 5.8 this would give us the pressure at point 2 82.498 kilopascal and this is the pressure at the bottom of the tank okay but um, I would give you another method in computing for the pressure at point 2 by converting the head of kerosene to the head of water okay so let's try to solve it uh, by converting again the head of the kerosene to water so the conversion is we have this formula again hb is equal to ha the height of liquid a times the specific gravity of a over the specific gravity of b or it can also be um, the height of a times the unit weight of liquid a over the unit unit weight of liquid b the only difference between this formula is that we cancelled out the unit weight of water that's the reason why we use specific gravity so we can use this formula since we have unit weight given so we have the the height of water okay since we convert height of kerosene to height of water there is equal to the height of the kerosene which is 3.2 meters times the the specific gravity of kerosene or the unit weight of the kerosene which is 8 kilonewton per cubic meter divided by the unit weight of water or liquid B which is 9.81 kilonewton cubic meter again we convert kerosene here to water so that is the equivalent height of kerosene in terms of the height of water and this would give us 2.609 2.61 and that is in meters okay so we can redraw our tank so we have to make all to make this liquid uniform so we can say then that this height here and that is in terms of water na okay and this height remains 5.8 meters these liquids are now in terms of water okay so they have now um, the same composition or the same properties and uh, the one thing that we did here is that we convert this kerosene here to equivalent head of water okay and thus we know that 3.2 meters of kerosene is equivalent to 2.61 meters of water okay and that they would have the same pressure so to compute for the pressure at the bottom at this point basically it is just the unit weight of the water or the uniform liquid times the height or the distance of that point from the surface okay this one and this would give us the total distance of 2.61 plus 5.8 we have 8.41 meters okay that is 8.41 meters so we multiply the unit the unit weight of water which is 9.81 okay times 8.41 meters and this would give us 82.5021 that is in kilo pascal okay so approximately they have the same value so we have the same answer now if we convert or if we make the liquid uniform okay in properties we can either convert water here into kerosene or kerosene into water just to make it uniform or homogeneous or you can just um, sum up all the pressures to compute the bottom pressure okay so that is example number four so you, either way you should have the same answer we have uh, this last example for this topic now in the figure shown if the atmospheric pressure is 101.03 kilopascal 
and the absolute pressure at the bottom of the tank is 231.3 kilopascal what is the specific gravity of the olive oil so we will be determining the specific gravity of olive oil so olive oil this liquid here okay we have the absolute pressure at the bottom so at the bottom of our tank we have the pressure there which is 231.3 kilopascal okay and this absolute pressure here is just the summation of all the pressure above okay or the pressure due to the combination of weight of the oil water olive oil and mercury and as well as the atmospheric pressure above okay since the surface of the top liquid is exposed to atmospheric pressure which is equal to 101.03 kilopascal okay so again absolute pressure here is the summation of all the pressures above on it okay plus the atmospheric pressure in which this pressure of the liquid is just basically the gauge pressure at the bottom we compute the pressure um, exerted by each liquid here okay we already know the pressure at the top of the oil which is 101.03 kilopascal that is the atmospheric pressure then we compute the pressure of the oil which has a specific gravity of 0 0.89 again from the formula of pressure which is equivalent to the unit weight of that liquid times the height and that unit weight of liquid is equivalent to the specific gravity of that liquid times the unit weight of water okay so in that case we can um, compute the pressure of oil which is unit weight of oil we have the specific gravity of oil times the unit weight of water 9.81 times the height of oil which is 1.5 meters and this would give us the pressure exerted by oil here which is equal to 13.1 that is in kilopascal okay now for water we have the pressure due to um, water due to the weight of the water which is now we know that the specific gravity of water is 1 since that is our reference liquid so we multiply it directly by 9.81 and the height of the water which is 2.5 meters and this would give us the pressure due to the weight of the water which is equal to 24.525 and this is in kilopascal as well now for olive oil take note we do not have the value of specific gravity so we can compute here the pressure which is in terms of the variable specific gravity so we have the pressure of the olive oil which is um, the specific gravity gs times the unit weight of water which is 9.81 times the height of olive here which is 2.9 meter this would give us the value of pressure which is 28.449 and then we have the variable specific gravity okay so since we do not know yet the specific gravity of olive oil so we retain gs here as variable okay so we have now the pressure of olive here in terms of specific gravity now let's compute the pressure due to the weight of mercury so we have the pressure is equal to the specific gravity of mercury which is 13.6 times 9.81 the unit weight of water times the height of mercury which is 0 0.4 and this would give us pressure equals to 53.3664 and then we know that the absolute pressure or the pressure due to the um, combination of weight of all the liquids above which we have the value 231.3 kilopascal again this absolute pressure here is due to the combination of pressure of the liquids above the bottom of the tank so we have here the absolute pressure which is 231.3 the value of this pressure here in the equation and that is the pressure at the bottom 
and this equals to the pressure of the oil which is 13.1 okay 13.1 plus the pressure due to the weight of water which is 24.525 24.525 plus the pressure due to olive but in this case we do not know the value of the specific gravity here yet but since um, this problem aims to determine the specific gravity of olive then we retain gs here or specific gravity as variable so we have here 28.449 specific gravity of olive oil then plus the pressure due to the weight of mercury which is 53.3664 okay plus of course we have atmospheric pressure above so we have 101.03 so basically we sum up all the pressure above the bottom of the tank okay so by further evaluating we would have this equation 28.449 gs equals to then we add all the constant so this equals to 39.2786 so we can say then that the value of the specific gravity of our olive is equal to 1.38 so our olive here is more than the specific gravity of water which is 1 so therefore olive oil here would definitely sink when placed in water and we have correct assumption and correct figure since olive here um, lies beneath the water okay so nasa baba siya ng water and that is the specific gravity of our olive oil and that ends the discussion of hydrostatic pressure so i hope that you have learned a lot and guys please pl subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell see you in my next video and god bless